Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Market Insights. My name is Florin. I'm one of the traders renting a desk at LAT. Uh, we'll change a bit. Mark is normally doing this on the Friday. I'll be replacing him for today. Um, and let's move straight into it. Uh, I hope everybody had a good trading week. And as we're heading over to the weekend, I hope everybody's going to wind down a bit, move away from charts and get uh, fueled up for next week. Um, Looking at the calendar, I think the main event for this week was US CPI and US PPI uh, with especially US CPI coming out with higher than expected numbers on Tuesday. Um, however, that turned out to be quite a difficult thing to price in for the markets. As um, we can see, we had the dollar finishing the day higher. We had the 10 year yield finishing the day higher, but we also had the indices finishing the day higher and knowing that by the normal correlations, something was priced incorrectly, I believe. And then um, that carried out until we had the US PPI released when the indices started moving lower this week. Also, um, just last night we had a hawkish comment from the Fed, which gave the indices another push to the downside uh, that is I think the main events for this week and moving over to next week I think there's gonna be a few things that we need to be aware of on Monday the main thing is we will have a holiday in United States and Canada therefore liquidity in the market will be um, not as present as on a normal day therefore trades might be reaching targets or stops for the same uh, reason quicker uh, so just be aware of that and trade carefully on Monday should you choose to do so uh, come on Tuesday we will have uh, data coming out from uh, the um, European zone we will have the PMIs coming out of France, Germany and EU uh, for whoever is planning to position themselves for uh, this uh, data release. We should be aware of the fact that um, both France and Germany um, independently and together they form quite a big percentage of the European Union's economy. Therefore, by the time we come to 10 o'clock UK time and we get the PMIs from European Union, the markets might already be pricing in uh, the sentiment based on the data releases from France and Germany. That is on Tuesday. Also, we will have CPI coming out of Canada, another important uh, macroeconomic event to keep an eye on is for whoever is trading markets correlated to the Canadian dollar, whoever is trading oil uh, markets, this is definitely another uh, macroeconomic event we have to be aware of moving on to wednesday wednesday is going to be one uh, maybe the most important uh, event for the day will be the um, bank decision from new zealand and the potential increase or uh, keeping the rates at the same uh, level However, New Zealand's expectation is of a uh, increase in rates to 4.75 basis points. So if um, traders out there are looking at trading the sentiment risk on risk off and markets uh, related to New Zealand, uh, another thing to be aware of and be prepared. Uh, just remember, try to uh, think ahead and see what is the consensus for the data release what has been priced in by the markets already and finally and probably most importantly what will surprise the markets because that is the thing that might give us an edge in um, finding the correct trade um, that's on wednesday on thursday thursday we will have from the us gdp a very important figure as we know um, the fed keeps repeating and this rep gets repeated over and over and over um, hard landing soft landing and um, uh, the Fed is planning to 
set their, their future uh, targets based on data. And as we saw this week, um, markets getting surprised by data that has not been priced in um, could react in different ways. So again, trade cautiously, a very important figure next week on Thursday for the US. And more importantly, as we all know, um, the US economy affects the markets in a very, very strong way. Therefore, preparation is definitely needed for next week Wednesday, uh, for next week Thursday, apologies. Um, Friday, Friday on the calendar, we will have uh, data from Germany, the, cons uh, the GDP. Again, looking at the EU and the economy in the European Union, GDP as in any other country or zone is very important as it will give ECB direction. ECB is at the current rate of 2.5 basis points and um, we should be mindful of the fact that at the moment ECB is planning a 50 basis points increase and we should keep an eye out on how the GDP will, will affect the, the potential trajectory of the rest of the increases for the uh, bank and for the whole European zone. Um, again, I hope you found this very useful and I hope everybody a very good weekend and recharge your batteries, like I said earlier on, wind down from the charts and come back next week with a uh, fresh mind, ready to take the challenges. I hope everybody a good week.